31. We're going to find the maximum and minimum values for f of x equals x plus square root of 1 minus 2x minus x squared. So before we get started, let's go ahead and look at this domain part here and solve for x. Uh, to do that, let's set this 1 minus 2x minus x squared. This has to be greater than or equal to 0. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and negate this to make it easier to look at because we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So when I negate this whole thing, we're going to get x squared plus 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Don't forget to flip this. We can't factor this, so we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So when we have x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0, using the quadratic formula, we're going to get x equals um, your b is 2, so negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times negative 1, divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. All right, this is going to give us negative 2 plus or minus square root of 8, divide that by 2. I'll just put the 2 under each piece. Square root of 8 is uh, 2 square root of 2. So this is going to be negative 1 plus or minus uh, 2 square root of 2, divide it by 2. That cancels out. So your x values are going to be um, x equals negative 1 plus or minus square root of 2. That means uh, by this equation here, our x has to be in between uh, negative 1 minus square root of 2 and 1 plus uh, square root of 2 for this uh, here. This x really doesn't matter because it can be anything. Now that we have that established, we can go ahead and differentiate our function. So let's do f prime of x. And we have the derivative of x. Here is just 1. Um, this piece here, remember this can be written as 1 minus 2x minus x squared to the power of 1 half. So that's going to be, uh, using the chain rule, we're going to have plus 1 half of 1 minus 2x minus x squared to the power of negative 1 half times the der uh, derivative of this inner function, which is going to be negative 2 minus 2x. Simplifying, we're going to get this equals uh, 1 plus, uh, I'm going to move all this in the denominator, so that's going to be um, 2 times the square root of 1 minus 2x minus x squared. And I'll put this in the numerator. You factor out a negative uh, 2, and then this would be, um, let's see, uh, 1 minus, or 1 plus x. I'll just put, yeah, 1 plus x. Now what happens is um, the 2's cancel, and I can change this to a negative. So basically my derivative is 1 minus 1 plus x divided by square root of 1 minus 2x minus x squared. All right, from there, we want to set our, um, to find our horizontal tangents, we're going to set this uh, to equal 0. So we're setting this equal 0. Let's do that. We're going to get, um, and I'm going to write it again, uh, we had 1 minus 1 plus x, um, divide it by 2 times the square root of 1 minus 2x minus x squared, and set this to 0. So basically what I'm going to do is um, move this over here, and that make this uh, my 1 positive, and uh, I'm moving this over to the left. But how I can write this is um, uh, 1, I'm going to write it this way, 1 plus x divided by 2 
times the square root of 1 minus 2x minus x squared equals 1. All right, let's cross multiply. And we're going to get uh, 1 plus x equals uh, 2. Oh, we don't have a 2 anymore. The 2 went away. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, square root of 1 minus 2x minus x squared. And if we square both sides, you're going to get 1 plus x squared equals 1 minus 2x minus x squared. And this is going to, this part here expanded would be 1 plus 2x plus x squared equals 1 minus 2x minus x squared. All right, the ones cancel here. Moving everything over to the left-hand side, I'm going to get 2x squared plus 4x equals 0. Let's factor out a 2x, and that's going to give me x plus 2. All right, so basically your x equals 0, or your x equals negative 2 when you set this to 0. Now let's check. So we're going to go plug this back into our derivative. If I substitute uh, uh, f prime of x and substitute that in, I'm going to get uh, 1, this should be, a, let me erase that too, sorry about that, uh, 1 minus 1 equals 0. So that checks. For this piece, uh, f prime of x and if I substitute in negative 2 I'm going to get um, I'm going to do a different color here um, 1 minus 1 minus 2 divided by square root of 1 plus 4 minus 4 this is going to give me 1 plus 1 which equals 2 now 2 does not equal 0, and we want it to equal 0. So basically this is an extraneous solution, or we could say that it doesn't. we don't have an extreme value at x equals negative 2. So we're going to disregard this one. There's no extreme value. So basically we have, uh, let's check what we have. We're going to check our values. We have um, x equals 1, 0. x equals uh, negative 1 minus square root of 2. And x equals 1, negative 1 plus square root of 2. All right, so for f of 0, Substitute in 0 here, you're going to get 1. All right. Um, if you substitute in the uh, negative 2 that we had, you're going to get negative 1. <coughs> and then if you substitute in f of negative 1 minus square root of 2, that's just going to give you, because we already know that's going to uh, go to 0, so that's going to just be negative 1 minus square root of 2 and f of negative 1 plus square root of 2 is going to give you uh, negative 1 plus square root of 2. So now we can do our minimum and maximum values. Um, again, there's no, this doesn't work, but I just uh, put that in there. So you have a maximum value at um, x equals 0 and that value is 1 all right and you have a minimum value at x equals uh, negative 1 minus square root of 2 here and that's going to be um, your minimum value is negative 1 minus square root of 2. 
Now, when you're doing your minimum and maximum, uh, the maximum is going to be your largest number, and this was our smallest number. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.